One of my components of coming to Huntsville in October of 2019 was to come and change not just the culture of the organization here at the plant, but to become a better community citizen within the Huntsville group. I, I come to learn over a lot of years with KWH and Upanora in the position and this being a 50 year old plant within the, within the community that there, there was a breakdown in relationship with the community and with the, the company itself. It, it is difficult to have a plant in a manufacturing plant right in the town of Huntsville. And one of my components was, and, and I was instructed and asked to please become a better citizen and a provider to the community and the people that are in the community. Our fire department is at the end of Payne Street here. And when we don't have clear direction for our drivers and our truckers coming into this, this town, this community, they can block our fire department from going to an emergency call. I started talking to some of our, our trucking companies and our drivers coming here. They're not understanding the signs. Mm -hmm. It's not in their language. So I said, absolutely, perfect. And if it's something as simple that says shipping with an arrow in their language, I'm all in. The Punjabi sign that was installed has recently garnered some curiosity as well as some negative attention in the community online. Weingarten says while he is happy to see conversations happening, he hopes that people will take the time to educate themselves or even come and ask questions before making assumptions and posting negatively. What I want is for people to take a step back and first understand the component of what was put on these signs. I have an open door policy. I did a job fair last February. I've invited the community. I've been on the radio. I've invited the community of Huntsville. Come and visit us anytime I have an open door policy. Come into the plant. I would hope after what some of the things I read um, that those individuals would have taken the time to, to better understand what the actual signs meant. Instead of just immediately going, how come we're, all of a sudden we got an English speaking town or a Canadian town and we got all different multiple languages on signs out front of the building and not knowing what they mean. If they'd have come in and talked to me, I'd have been more than happy to do it. The same thing we're doing right now, Jimmy. Have this discussion and just go listen. It's for the safety of you, the safety of your family, for the safety for our fire department to be able to, when you need them, that they are there in critical times to keep everybody safe.